everyone this is a scrapbook layout for shimmers paint included with simple stories saturdays i'm so excited thank you so much for coming to see me my name is joanne and i'm going to use the simple vintage love story collection today and i picked this up on the simple stories website during one of their sales it was a huge pack huge pack of everything from this collection for super super cheap and then an additional 20 percent off coupon i couldn't believe it so if you like simple stories go to their website and just sign up on their website it just means give them your email and then they will email you about sales okay but oh look at these two pieces of paper i had to pick those out and they have like little patterns and stuff in that i can't i just can't even i want to use this chipboard frame look how pretty it is i'm going to use this photo which isn't really fancy smancy it's me and my husband at the fair but since this is about a love story i want to use this photo it's a four by six photo and I printed several trying to figure out which would look best in a frame because they usually have these things on the sides and it's always hitting somebody's face. So I think what I'll do is turn this around and hopefully get this where I want it to be. And I'm going to have to get super close to the edge here because my husband insists on cutting off the top of his head because, you know, receding hairline, they don't want to admit it, and I don't blame them. It's a thing. And instead of messing around, trying to get it in the perfect spot, I'll just tape it to the back. I love it. And I'm excited because I am about to use the last of this roll of adhesive and there we go that's it perfection oh, i can toss this away and i want to put a piece of paper behind this just to make it sturdier okay that's the only reason i'm doing this you're not even going to see it i just want to make sure that it has some strength behind the photo that's why i'm not even going to bother taking the tape off you can make this an even bigger piece of paper if you wanted to i just want that to be a little bit stronger see what i'm saying it would have been like really flimsy so i'm thinking i want to tear paper today and i'm thinking i want to come down here but be higher up here like a long tear and a shorter tear so what i mean by that is instead of having a this is from bramble fox it's a tearing tool i'll put it in the description box below so instead of having like a straight tear if you turn this then this will be longer and that will be shorter so let's get this started but i want the long on the left hand side so i need to turn that here's me thinking Try not to hurt myself thinking too hard, right? Okay, so you just hold this and you get it started. And it's gonna pop a little bit. And then you pull it, but push it against this and pull it towards yourself at the same time. This paper is strong paper. And that way the tear is perfect. And if you do it like this on both pieces, then they'll match i'm gonna leave a lot of this in so you can see what i'm doing from start to finish and i have picked out the most perfect perfect shimmers paints for this so again i want that longer over there and shorter up here let's try to do this quicker you just gotta get it started and then yank on it there you go all good and if i don't like how this came out look how perfect that is i could use that instead if i didn't like this so you get two tears from the one pull okay get that out of the way and what i meant by that is longer here shorter here put like this very simple layout very very pretty i want to 
lift this back up. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I forgot to put my paint down. But that's perfect because you want to know why? Because now I know where my paint's going to go. Yep. Oh my goodness. One day soon, my brain will work. I've got several stamps. So I want to show you that you can use shimmers paint with stamps. You don't have to just use ink. So I've got this one. It's just a mixed media blotch, which is super cool because it's so big, like a circle, like a coffee, um, the bottom of your coffee mug stain. And then I also have this and I'm thinking I want the circle one. I'm going to use a creamies in Sage. It isn't so. Sage, it isn't so. I love it. Look. Um, let me see. All right, let me just grab one of the flowers here. Look at perfect, right? Mm, love it. Okay, so I'm going to stir it over to the side a little bit. And this is pretty wet, but that's okay because I want it to be. All right, so you can do two ways. You can... Pour some on your glass mat or whatever your mixed media platform is, or you can take a paintbrush and do this. And I'm only going to do it on like half of it because I'm only going to stamp around. I'm not going to stamp up here. I'm going to stamp around the outside of that pretty far away from the glue mark so I can see it past the ephemera and stuff I know that I'm going to put on this. And I don't care if it comes out good or not because I really just want it to be messy. So I'm going to lay it down and you see how it spreads apart. Press. I'm trying to do it like this so you can see what happens. And then you're going to lift up straight and you're still going to have some on there. So you can grab some from the little puddle that's going on here and continue to stamp around. You won't have to re-ink again because you can grab what you already have going on see how it spreads apart that's why i wanted to use this clear okay i'm going to grab some from there and then i'm going to turn it and i'm going to go over here and just put some like right there oh that's awesome look at that mm, love 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 i'm going to grab some more of this because there really is quite a lot right there and i don't want to waste it Probably got a little overzealous putting that on there, but it's okay. It's no big deal. Oh, I love that too. I don't really love that little mark, but I'm not a gesso girl. If you used if you use gesso, you could just wipe that right off with a baby wipe or a wet napkin. I'm just not a gesso girl. It's not my thing. And I love how it's totally different here than it is over here. I bring this back and I'll show you look you guys oh my gosh so then i'm thinking let's do this in a pink right here and maybe one like over here I'm just gonna go ahead and do the splatters when you get these spray bottles you want to turn it upside down and um go back and forth roll it back and forth like this don't shake these because some of them have sparkles in it and then you could, by shaking it, you could inadvertently put the sparkles up into the nozzle. Oh, I should tell you the name of this. This is a Vibes in Think Pink. And I just think it's perfect. And I just want to use this for um, little splatters. I might put some more on later. But I also just want to get some pink like in the green as well. So this is like extremely, extremely super simple mixed media, but it ends up looking absolutely awesome. So let me just put a little bit in the middle because the photo is going to cover that. And that way I know, oh my gosh, I totally love it. So I'm just going to paint this color right onto here. And again, I am not looking for perfection. Like if I was using, um, ink to stamp this and then I'm going to dab it so you get some of the liquid to stay on top of the stamp because if you drag it across you're just moving the paint and wiping it off if that does that make sense 
Okay, so here we go with this. I hope this is in the right spot. We're going to guess. I'm going to leave it there for a second, let it soak in, and then I'm going to lift. You guys, this is going to look so good. And then where did I want this other one? Let me get that photo back again. But see, look, right there. I don't want that. Um, it's still wet. I don't want it to hit that. So I'm going to put it like right here. So I definitely don't need that much more paint. Just a little bit. And like I said, I totally want this messy. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. And I love it. Grab Distress Oxide in Black Soot. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. And again, I am not looking for this to be perfect at all. So I'm going to put some ink on there. I'm going to tap it onto a napkin right next to me. Slide this under here and just put a couple little circles like that. That is super pretty. Um, can you see my napkin? There we go. And then I'm going to tap it like it's second generation. And I'm going to put one in here. Let me see how far I can get in there without ruining everything. I'm not trying to make those perfect circles either. Okay, let's just put these back here because we're probably going to use those. have this kind of pretty I'm thinking about using a lot of chipboard on this because it's going to go in a frame I think all right I don't need that I do think that I want some of these tickets though how cool are those there is an entire sheet of tickets maybe I can put that there well, that could be adorable and an amazing spot to journal. Oh, I love that. Mm, I might cut it a tad. So I can totally use this someplace else. Okay, just like that. Then I can still see that and I can put a butterfly up there still. And like half of this. But what half do I want? Oh, let me get that out of the way. Probably like this because I would want I won't I don't want this leaf going into that. I would want the leaf to be coming down this way. So let me cut this in half. I'm only gonna see a little bit of it, so I'll just cut a little bit of it. And then tuck it in here and then see how the leaf is coming there. And I, if I turn it a little bit, you can see the leaf and that pretty pink popping out thinking maybe some butterflies down here like that that's not bad I feel like I want a pink butterfly though how come I don't have any pink butterflies out on the table there's this one I must not have seen a pink butterfly here's one. Oh, I got a pink heart to come with it um yeah, so maybe I'll put the white up here on the darker paper because then the white will pop off the pink paper more. I've got ATG on my finger now. And then use the green because this um, paint is pink. And then put this here. So that would be three. Unless I brought this over here like that. And I could have that maybe flying onto the bait onto the page and do um, butterfly trail stencil. Do this. This collection is everything, isn't it? I just want a little something. Oh, I'm always loving a circle. Let me grab this. Sorry, grabbing this one. I think it matches pretty. That's okay. Oh wait. Oh. Let's see if I can sneak this. These are so thin. Let me get a good grip on it. Um, can I sneak this in there? Yep. Okay, that's going there. I'm going to put it right here. Because it's green and that um, picture frame says a valentine. And this is not a valentine. We were at the fair. Okay, I do love all of these so here is a green bread 
and this one I love and we'll try to get this one in too and then here is a nice pink one so maybe get this in there let's see if it looks good yep with this heart maybe up here and then we can put like an enamel dot right there and then these we can put I feel like they need to maybe be down here and then we'll put an enamel dot in there thinking this color and we'll use like a medium one because I think the small would be too small in proportion with the adhesive breads and I did not want that to go down that far maybe I need to move, move this down a little bit like right there and then put this in there and then I'll be happy because I am too picky okay but now I'm happy hmm. okay that's better all right I might put a third set somewhere but I don't know where so let's figure that out in a minute Maybe something over here. That'd be cute. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you know what? There's really big ones over here, too. I really love this one, also. So let's do this gigantic butterfly, because it matches. Maybe. Let me see. Let's do that there. This here and then I think maybe we'll have to do I think I need to move this down a little bit oh here and then we'll have to do this dark one because it's pink paper we are all done so we have beautiful splatters and mixed media from shimmers paint on the background and simple stories simple vintage love story i love this collection in these three pink colors we'll go over them again naughty or nice perfect for that darker color we got a creamies in sage it isn't so which is the perfect green for this collection and I also used a vibes in think pink the prettiest pink ever I love that I'll put all that information in the description box below and as always if you leave my name in the comment box of your shimmers paints order you will receive a free gift which is a pod of paint and that would be in addition to your order so for free love that now I have to tell you I messed up the bottom of this layout so bad. I ended up putting a couple strips of torn paper on the bottom to cover it up. I um, ran my hand through some paint and it wasn't dry yet and I smudged it beyond repair. There was nothing I could do about it. So I would prefer, I would have preferred if this was all white on the bottom, but this doesn't look bad either. I just took the other torn part from we, what we did up here, put it down here to cover it up. Um, it's it's done so that's that so let me bring it in close so you can see this pretty collection and look at those paints you guys I love it aren't they beautiful and they're just so shimmery and beautiful I love that here's this right here that's my favorite part I love it I do I do okay and there you go Alrighty, alrighty. If you do have any questions about Shimmers Paints, don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. I'm happy to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending some time with me. In the description box below is everything you need to know and links to everybody else who is participating in Simple Story Saturday. All right, thank you, you guys. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. Look at that shimmer. I love it. Thank you. Close-ups at the end. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Bye.